Hey guys, welcome to the Little Big Sense YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something just a little bit different than usual. I've got a little jam here that I wanna show you. The only difference though is that the drums for this jam are gonna be coming from a video clip that was sent to me by a YouTuber and fellow jammer by the name of Little Music Boxes. Now, if you haven't already checked out this guy's channel, you should definitely do that. He's got some really great content, just great editing, really cool jams, overall really good stuff. Um, but anyways, he's the one that kind of came up with this like micro collaboration idea. Um, the idea was basically him record some vocal drum sequences and then he would send that over to me and then I can use those sounds um, however I see him fit. So this is kind of what I came up with. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and then stick around to the end. I might be able to kind of go over the setup here with you guys a little bit. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so just to kind of give you guys a quick overview here, um, up here on my computer, I have my DAW of choice at the moment, which is Acoustica's Mixcraft 8 Pro Studio. And in Mixcraft, I have a few channels and tracks open. Um, one, which is the Vulcan Drum uh, track, which is, I think it was set to 80 BPM. So I just matched the BPM of the DAW to 80 BPM. And then from there, I sent that MIDI clock data, uh, data to the Volca bass. Um, and in order to do that, I had to use the JO6 as a kind of USB interface since the Volca bass only has the five pin MIDI cable. So basically the MIDI clock from the computer is going into the JO6's uh, USB here and then converted into just a standard MIDI signal using a five pin MIDI cable. Um, so then with the Volca bass and the computer synced up, uh, I then synced the rest of the Volcas using just regular sync cables here. So sync out from the Volca bass to the sync in of the V keys and the V keys sync out to the VFM sync in. Uh, Volca FM and the Volca keys are using their internal sequencers and the Volca bass is being sequenced by the DAW just for a little bit longer bass sequence uh, since the vocal bass only has the 16 steps and I kind of wanted a little bit more complex bass line. So then from there, as far as audio goes, the Volca bass um, audio output is going into the left channel of my 2i2 here. And then the Volca keys and Volca FM are being mixed by the Volca mix. And then the Volca Mix's output is going into the right channel of the Scarlett 2i2. 
Um, then I have a key step here, which was just used to input the notes for the vocal basis sequence, but that's basically it. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this jam. I definitely had some fun doing it. it definitely challenged me to kind of work outside of my normal workflow, um, which was uh, which is always fun. Kind of keep things interesting. Uh, and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, just stick around for more videos from Little Big Sense. Thanks, guys.